Oh my god, he's actually bringing it. <laughs> Six. Eight. Oh. <laughs>I bought my 760 Li. I teased on that first video that I would spend 24 hours in the car if that video got a certain amount of likes. Now as you can guess that video did get a certain amount of likes which is why I did that video 24 hours living in my 760 Li which actually wasn't too bad but foolishly on that video I said if it got 2,000 likes I would do 24 hours in this. Now I severely underestimated the amount of people that are going to watch that video and therefore like that video and of course you don't need me to tell you but it went way above that, went completely out of hand because you all want to see me suffer and today is that day. So I guess this is it. I am slightly concerned for my life. I think it's highly possible that I could pass away during the night, if not before actually, because this is a two-seater convertible. Now this bag just a prop, nothing in it. And that's because obviously real estate is gonna be a little bit of an issue in this car. So basically what I've got for my 24 hours is this, a sleeping bag. No nice duvet, no sheets, no pillows, none of that. Just a sleeping bag and a bag inside which has got my laptop and a couple of other things which I'll show you once we get in the car. Uh, but essentially where the 760 video was actually, looking back at it, quite a lot of fun. I mean, it was. I mean, I've got to play with the seats, watch the TV, order room service. I mean, that car was actually brilliant for it. And you know what? I would probably like to spend some time traveling around the country in that car when I can. This is just really not gonna be fun in the slightest. So uh, yeah, I've got a sleeping bag. I've got a couple of other bits in a rucksack in the car. And look, I mean, it's about midday now. I'll check the exact time, but let's just get it bloody over with, shall we? I actually think I might cry. <laughs> Well, that's it. 24 hours, what's the time actually? Okay, it's five past 12 on Saturday. So five past 12 on Sunday, which is tomorrow of course, we'll be able to get out of here. So as I said, there's no bedding or anything like that. I didn't get a pillow in the end because it just takes up too much room. We've got a sleeping bag which mainly should keep me warm overnight. In the seven series, I spent a good, you know, two, three hours playing with the toys in there. In here, I think I can reel them off in five minutes. One good thing about this car is in terms of heating, well, we're in such a small cabin, it will heat up very, very quickly if I need to put the heating on. Charging stuff, um, well, there's no big, there's no uh, load of PowerPoint. That, that's got, I think, three cigarette PowerPoints in it and obviously two in the back where I could sit in the back with my laptop on charge and do some work. I even had a, a Zoom call meeting when I spent 24 hours in the 7 Series and that was actually completely fine. Um, this, I've literally just got the one cigarette point but I'm using this same device which plugs in via cigarette and uh, has a full three pin plug socket on the top and two USBs actually but I'll just use the three pin and from the laptop then I can power my cameras if I need to and um, my phone to charge my phone. So yeah, so we've got that. That's about it really. In terms of the seats, well, there are electric seats in this car, which is, I guess, nice. But where this seat is now, and obviously I'm in the passenger seat because there's more room, no steering wheel or pedals in the way. This is all the way back. This is as far back as this seat goes. So I guess what I'm gonna do now is sort of set up and get as comfortable as I can to an extent. And yeah, then we'll see. <laughs> That'll probably only take 10 minutes. Uh, and then we'll, we'll see what we can do for the rest of, of the day.
it's uh, not rained for a little bit now. I mean, the clouds are still black, but I want to have a bit of fun. So uh, I'm going to need my dad's help for this. I mean, it's a little bit cheaty because my parents are right there so I can uh, sort of use them. It's like phone a friend. Let me just see if this works. Hello? Hey, you right? Uh, yeah. Um, do... Do we still have the, the? Do we still have badminton rackets? <laughs> Why do you want badminton rackets? I've got I've got an idea that I think might. Can you do you mind grabbing them and bringing them out to me? <laughs> You're in the car, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, mad, mad, mad person. I'll see you in a minute. Oh, okay. Cheers. Bye. I reckon. It's convertible, isn't it? So I can stand up. Oh, there he is. He's... Uh, looks like he's going to get something. If my dad stands outside the car, and I'm standing up in the car, I reckon we could have a little game of badminton. And there's only one way to find out, isn't there? I reckon if I put the roof down... Yeah. Then we could have a little game of... <laughs> you might work. It might work. <laughs> Do you have another one of those? I don't know. Not got another one. Can't find another shuttle, but I found tennis ball. Oh no. Tennis rackets. I think that's going to be even worse. Do you? Yeah. But it's a heavier ball, so. All right, let's give it a go. I think it might be all right. Nothing else to do, is there? <laughs> Four, six, eight. Ah! <laughs> Oh, come down, come down, come down. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh, it always landed in the car. <laughs> Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty, two, three, four. Ah! Oh. <laughs> Leave it at that. Thirty-four. It's not bad. It's probably better than I could do on an actual tennis court. <laughs> I am freezing now, though, so I might you get back get in my in. little house. Are you going to start it on? Put the heating on. I think probably. Yeah. Yeah. Get warmed up. Battery has been drained a little bit. Did you hear that? It almost didn't start then. Maybe, maybe we'll leave the engine running for a little bit. Um, this is easier in the seven series. Um, you'd have to you have to put your foot on the brake to start the car. So being in the back, I would have to literally dive over, use one hand to push on the brake, and another button, uh, another hand to press the button. Whereas this was a simple twist as long as the car's in neutral. Right, heating. Let me just. Get rid of that because it's really annoying. Um, there you go, all the way up. That's going to take a little while to become hot, so I'm going to put it on auto. Uh. <laughs> what was that? Uh, I mean, that was actually, you know what? That tennis rally, 34. I'm pretty happy with that. I mean, it is quite, it's quite honestly these days, and different a little bit at the moment with lockdowns and stuff, but it's, it's quite rare that you get 24 hours, literally, you know, with nothing to do. Obviously I'm still connected to the internet and I've got social media and all that good stuff that I'd normally be looking at. But look, I'm in such a confined space, there's not really any distractions. So I feel like I should try and learn like a new skill in this lesson, you're going to learn how to introduce yourself in Chinese. Ready? Let's get started. 你好,我叫马燕如. Hi, I'm Yenru Ma. 你好,我叫马燕如. Start by saying 你好, which means hello. 你好, 你好, 
Then say, 我叫, 我, which means 叫, I'm called. 我叫, 你好, 我叫, say your name. It's Joel. Now let's see another way of introducing yourself. In this version, you will say, Hi, my name is Carol, instead of, Hi, I am Carol. And we will learn another way of saying, Nice to meet you. Yalla, yalla Habibi. Yalla Habibi. Yalla, yalla, yalla Bina Habibi. Yalla Bina Habibi. Bonjour, je m'appelle, it's Joel. J'habite à London. If you are trying to add the number, take 90. Let's try it out. Ma onze est vingt Je suis vingt onze. Well then, so now I'm fluent in Mandarin, uh, French and Arabic. I think it's time to sort of hone a different skill. I am losing the plot at this point and we're only six hours in. Uh, but I'm gonna make another phone call to mon papa, mon père, mon père, ma père. Hiya. Hello, it's me again. What's your crazy idea now? Yeah, I've got another great <laughs> idea actually. So I'm trying to spend my time learning new skills. Okay. And so I'm now fluent in <laughs> Arabic, Cantonese and French. <laughs> yeah, right. I've done that all in an hour. I know it's very impressive. Excellent. Excellent. But I have been trying to get a little bit better at piano lately. <laughs> Do you know where I'm going with this? <laughs> you want me to bring your piano down? Maybe. Have you got power supply? Yeah, I've got a uh, yeah, I've got like a plug thing that goes in the cigarette lighter. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Probably won't bring the grand grand piano, but uh, maybe your electric one. Okay. <laughs> Give it a go. Okay. You are mad, but we will see. Okay, I'll see you in a minute. Okay, mate. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Honestly, he's as much of an idiot as I am. I wonder where I get it from. Oh my god, he's actually bringing it. <laughs> Let's get the roof off. You are mad. Yeah, I think this is actually genius. Do you? Will it even fit? <laughs> Got it? Yeah. Well, I think it's. I think it'll actually fit. I think it will. Oh, look at that. Ah! Oh. oh, gosh. What's that? Right. Oh! Please don't ghost my calls. I won't. Because otherwise I might pass away. Only the first time. I will probably perish. I I'll actually call in the morning. No! <laughs> right, the roof's going up. Happy practicing. Bye. I've got here is I can't actually play you anything that you would know because then this video will be demonetized. So I have shot myself in the foot slightly here. What can we do though? Can we play
Yeah, I think I think I've exhausted my time with this wonderful device. <laughs> so, have you learned to play um, Moonlight Sonata? Or no, I'm um, competent in most of uh, most of Mozart now, though. Are you? Oh, yeah, well yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> well, I have to say that is probably the weirdest thing I've ever done in my Z4. Actually, the weirdest thing I've ever done on this YouTube channel, uh, for that matter. Playing a piano and also racket sport in it. I'm actually really hot now, though. Uh, now that the roof's back up and the heating's on full wax, so I'm just going to pop the engine off. Uh, just all the electronics off. Uh, cool, I'm just going to unplug that. I think the phone is charged currently. Yeah, it is fully charged, actually. I figured, though, um, what I'd do to kill some more time is do a little bit of a, a question and answer type thing. I haven't done one in a long time, really. Um, so, uh, for those of you that follow me on Instagram, which is here, it's Joel. You should go ahead and follow me because I post stuff on there all the time, like literally every day um, as they happen. I asked you guys on there to ask me uh, some questions, to send me some questions in then I'm just gonna quickly fire a few off now, um, and then we'll go and get some tea. Okay, first question, uh, completely uncar related actually, from George Lambo. Do you have a dream watch? Do I have a dream watch? No, I am into my watches, but I don't. I can't say there's, there's one in particular that I dream about. The watch that I'm probably most likely to buy as my first sort of proper watch is a Tudor Black Bay Heritage Edition, the one with the red, um, bezel and, and face and then probably the brown leather strap if you know what that is maybe I'll put a photo up um, I would like to get one of them uh, at some point Levi Sanderson 15 says do you now have scoliosis because you spent 24 hours in the Z4 scoliosis I'm actually gonna have to look up scoliosis scoliosis is a sideways curvature of the spine yeah yeah uh, yeah yeah, I've got that, probably. Um, I've probably already got it, which is why I can't even feel my back at this point. What will be the next car, and will it be the 7 Series or the Z4 to go? Really good question. Uh, that's from Toby Doble. What will be the next car? It's hard to say. I've got my eyes on maybe 10, 20, 30 cars at any one time. Um, pretty much depends on how many people watch my YouTube channel and therefore how much money I make. Because if I won the lottery tomorrow, I could probably tell you 10 cars that I would go and buy immediately. Whereas right now, the one that I'm sort of saving for, well, having said that, I am sort of just waiting for the right spec to come available, is the E63 M6. Interesting question from Reese Davies 1. Do you miss the M240i? I've just got mine and need some mod inspiration. For those of you that don't know, uh, right on uh, Christmas Eve, actually, I sold my BMW M240i. I only had it for about three months. From a sort of perspective of comfort and convenience, I do really miss it. I really miss the ZF gearbox. The 7 Series, as much as I love that car, the gearbox is pretty woeful. And when I'm driving that, I do particularly miss the M240i's gearbox. In terms of mod inspiration, well, I think wheels really, really make a difference on the M240i's. The standard M wheels don't look good, in my opinion. And then some stance, maybe take a trip up to Motec, get the lowering springs and spacers. That really set it off. And then Auto ID for some carbon bits. They um, help me out with the carbon interior bits and also my carbon rear diffuser, which looked insane. So auto ID for carbon fiber. Actually can't recommend Litchfield tune enough either. Stage one tune, 500 quid I think it was. Took my car from 360 brake to 440, something like that. So recommend those. Uh, overall don't miss it, but miss you know things about it. So I'm not sure how well you can see me. Of course, it's dark outside now. It's uh, quarter to eight. It feels a lot later, but again, it's because I've been sitting in the car for near enough eight hours now. And now it's time to go and eat. Now, actually, it's not ideal because like eight o'clock on a Saturday night at the McDonald's drive through it's gonna be quite busy. But I'm here for 24 hours, so why not kill time in the car? Anyway, what I obviously need to do now is get from the passenger side to that side without the gear stick or handbrake lever going straight up my ass. Okay, we're nowhere near the gear stick, which is great news.
my orifices are left unpenetrated, which is fantastic news. So hopefully, let's just see if it will start. Very good, perfect. One thing that I notice oh, about this car compared to the 7 Series is the suspension. It is so just rough in this car. And when you go over speed bumps, it's, uh, it's uncomfortable, it really is. Whereas the 7 just glides straight over them. But where this Z4 really stands up for itself is the gearbox. It is great, but you can't heel and toe in the 7 Series, that's for sure. question is now what do I go for so guys I do have an oil leak in this car and I don't know if you can see but coming from the bonnet now is a load of smoke you can just see it there even though it's not focused but what that is I believe and I hope is just oil burning off where it's leaked onto the into the uh, into the engine bay it does smell rather nasty actually but I should probably look to get that sorted soon. Can I get a Grand Big Mac bacon meal? Meal, meal yeah. Meal. And then I'll just get a, um, what is it? A cool Mayo Chicken Legend on its own. Cool Mayo Chicken Legend on its own, yeah? Yeah, that's it. This annoys me at drive through is when someone in front orders the entire moon and then the same type of person will reverse and then moan because they've got, I don't know, the wrong type of straw or something like that. Or they missed one of the sources. Just get a grip. Here we go. Finally. Go. Cheers, thanks a lot. Three, two, one. So I'm going to park forwards now so that I'm a little bit more private. Try not to hit the garage, I probably have. And there we go. I think I'm just going to eat here. And then actually what I've found out in this car from previous times where I've sort of sat in here for whatever reason, maybe waiting for a meeting or something, um, is if I put the gear stick into third, that actually creates quite a nice resting point for my phone so that I can watch YouTube or whatever it is, which is probably what I'm going to do now. To be honest, while we're, I mean, I don't know if you care, I'm just going to ramble and then we'll see how it edits. Um, but I actually don't watch car YouTubers, really. If there's one car YouTuber that I watch, not religiously, but I'm more likely to click, it's the Stradman. I think the trouble is with most of the British YouTubers that you guys probably watch, Either I know them personally, so I sort of know what they're up to anyway and, and therefore don't feel the need to watch the videos all the time. Not to say I never do, but I, I, I don't always. Um, or they're doing things that I would like to be doing myself. So I'm going to sit and watch some KSI and uh, shut up and, and eat my McDonald's. Okay, so it's just gone nine o'clock and I've finished all of my food. I've watched a few videos on YouTube, but I figured um, I might as well sort of get ready for bed, so to speak, because I'm not going to sort of be doing anything else now until, well, probably until I get out of the car, actually, which is now only... Oh, no, it's still a long way away. It's still about 15 hours, isn't it? It's not as bad as I thought it would be in a way. I mean, it is bad, don't get me wrong, but essentially with the 7 Series and with this, 
I'm still in a car and I can still put my legs out just with the 7 Series it was a little bit more you know it was more comfortable there was more space ultimately it's it's not too dissimilar to that challenge so I'm actually I think now I'm, I'm at peace with it because I sort of know what to expect I think where we're going to have the issues is when I actually try and get some kip I think if I just get across now then I can move the rest of the stuff easily now let's try not to get anything up my ass again should be good Bag. Let's see what the deal is with this. This looks like a pretty chunky sleeping bag. Oh, what a nice colour! This looks pretty hefty actually. I'm going to take my jumper off here. I just feel like a moving dildo this thing five hours later hello <laughs> it is currently uh five to one uh on sunday the 14th of march so we're through from saturday now into sunday which is wonderful wonderful news um i've just been catching up on some like podcasts um jack mates happy hour i i really like that podcast Behind the glass. Uh, fun fact, actually, I was on the first ever episode of Behind the Glass, and I think maybe two or three thereafter, because Sam started that podcast when um, I was working with him. Don't know if that video is still on YouTube, actually. But I might try and have a look because uh, that was a really, really cool, uh, cool memory. Also, I've just been thinking about. I mentioned him earlier, the Stradman. I was watching one of his videos. And I remember, of course, the Stradman story started with him living in his Audi TT in, I think he was in LA at the time, when he was trying to, I think he'd quit his job and he was uh, trying to make it sort of doing YouTube. And he was living in an Audi TT in LA, I think for something crazy, like six months. But otherwise, yeah, it's been pretty much as I thought, like sort of not really comfortable enough to sleep. I did, like I said, I did nod off for a bit, maybe around an hour on and off. But uh, by no means, I don't think I'm going to be getting much sleep tonight. I put a post up earlier on, on YouTube and you guys have been commenting on it. And someone said, Jonesy HD said, I bet you can't do a forwards roll. Okay, Jonesy, I bet I can. We'll try a bloody forwards roll, won't we? This will be easy. Although, will I crush my cameras? Oh, this might be a bad idea. Forwards roll. Um. Ah! Okay, well, I think that was sort of a forwards roll. What do you reckon, Jonesy? Is that, does that count? See that? It's 12.02, which means we've got three minutes left in the Z4. Obviously it's raining, which is lovely. I'm glad we did manage to do some of that roof down. Uh, fun yesterday. Um, I guess it made this a little bit more enjoyable. So final thoughts then. Well, I feel okay right now actually. Obviously it's been a while since I was sleeping, so I've woken up 
considerably. I seriously need a coffee. I basically haven't done it. I haven't eaten this morning and I haven't drunk anything. I just literally couldn't physically be bothered to like try and order anything or drive to a drive through. I just can't be bothered. I've got two minutes left. So I'm gonna go inside and like probably cook a fry up and make a nice coffee and then go to sleep. <laughs> Cause I think as soon as I get inside into the warm, I'll probably pass out. Um, but right now I don't feel too bad. And I have to say, I am very glad this challenge, this video is now done. But uh, you'll all be pleased to know actually, the next video you're gonna see is an update with the seven series. Uh, it is now back here, um, but it's been uh, at the garage for about three weeks and it's had quite a big bill. I've spent quite a lot of money on it. So I'll tell you all about that in the next video. Anyway, two minutes, that's surely about to change to 12.04. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, there we go, one minute left, one minute left. So yeah, you can see me itching away. I definitely need to go in and get uh, get a shower, have something to eat, go to sleep. But look, it's not been too bad. This sleeping bag is like honestly so, so warm. I'm glad I did that. I, I probably could have put loads of duvets in here because it's not like I've moved around at all. But I'll tell you the one thing that I'm really disliking right now is the smell. It does stink in here. And I think partly it's that Macca's bag, but also me. Whereas the 7 Series was just that much bigger it does just smell in here and I haven't had the windows open because it's been wetting it down all morning. So yeah. Anyway, guys, uh, it's 12.04. I'm going to get out of the car any second now. So I want to say thanks for watching this video. Thank you in the first place for making me do this video by liking the other videos because essentially, yes, I'm complaining, but it's great that you guys like the videos in the first place. <laughs> yes! Freedom! I'm happy. I'm very happy. 24 hours in the Z4. You know what? I was very unhappy when I knew I had to do this challenge, but I'm glad I've done it now. It's over. I'm actually looking forward to just driving this thing now, giving it a good wash, and driving it on a sunny day. Ugh. It actually looks all right in there. I don't want to show you this side because it's a mess, but I'm glad that's over. Now, I'm gonna end this video before I pass out, um, but once again, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you very, very soon.